is a next. I've got a, a couple of them that are sort of related, so I think I'll just we'll we'll answer them at the same time here. Okay. Uh, the first one is uh, from Burby TV, and uh, his question is: If Deathwing used the power of the Void to open up a portal to get rid of the Primalists, really he just got rid of Razagath, not the other ones. Yeah. Um, who or how or most likely who opened the way for them to come back so my argument there because i have thought about that a while the primalists almost definitely have succumbed to the void if you listen to what the primalists want to do it's eerily similar to what deathwing wants to do they hate the titans in my opinion at least they have a much closer connection to the old gods and this would make sense considering that the proto drakes of which the primalists are a part of uh, existed during the days of the black empire remember the proto drakes were formed in the elemental planes and this was during the time of the black empire so it's entirely possible that the that they at least in part have some kind of connection to the old gods. Even if it's not necessarily a direct connection, it will be some kind of connection. As for the portal, I believe the portal was literally used to imprison Razageth. I think I don't think the portal was meant to pull Razageth into the void realms or into the world of the void, but rather just to pull Razageth into her prison. At least that would be my guess. Could be wrong, but at least for now, that will be my answer to that. Yeah, I feel like he, uh, I, I feel like he uh, just tapped into the void because the Drakthir couldn't be trusted to be used, in his opinion, when the uh, artifact was destroyed. Mm -hmm. And by himself, he could not take on a primalist. And I think that that's, like, what opened the the door yeah. in his mind for the Void. Um, I think that she might have been in her own prison, not the same as the, the other ones that were locked away in the vault of the Incarnates. But, yeah, it, it makes sense that they'd um, lock him away. Lock yeah, I think somehow. I think he used the void in order to lock her away, and then afterwards, it's possible that they decided to reseal her to make sure that she doesn't come out. But the Deathwing was the one who actually imprisoned her at at least at first all of that effectively is obviously just speculation because we don't really know what transpired there uh, you said something else that i that i found interesting but now i'm i'm sort of blanking on it ah never mind never mind yeah i hope we get to see more of the reason for the mortal primalists the why they have gone you know gone to worshiping these dragons that definitely want nothing to do with well, uh, mortal races oh I, I think i can answer that already they're elementalists so these are mortal races that serve the elements and the elemental lords and because the primalists are effectively the champions of the elemental lords that's why they were sent to free the primalists because the primalists they serve the primalists via serving the elemental lords so that would be my answer to that but i remember the interesting thing that you said that i wanted to comment on deathwing's fall so Deathwing's fall absolutely was the moment that he realized that he could not stand against Rasageth alone and decided to call upon the old gods. And as I explained, the aspects, so the dragon aspects on their own are incredibly not weak is not the right word because they are obviously powerful, but they aren't invincible. They're not invulnerable. They can be defeated, and yes, you might. It it might be a little push, but it, it like you have to push yourself. But it's not going to be the hardest fight ever. The dragon aspects were designed to fight in unison. That's where their true power comes from: is the ability to fight together. Because together, they are nigh unstoppable. Deathwing, for some weird reason, decided that he pretty much always wanted to go it alone. He always had this plan of him and himself can can take care of most anything. And then of course he faces against the pri he faces he comes face to face with the primal primal elemental uh the primalists and they are way more powerful. If you if you put Razage against any of the, the the dragon aspects, Razageth will win in a 1v1 battle. The dragon aspects weren't built for 1v1s. And so that's why Deathwing as soon as he lost the artifact, could no longer fight Razageth. And so, instead of going to his brothers and sisters and pleading 
for them to help. His arrogance would not allow for that. He, his arrogance would not allow for him to ask for help, and therefore his fall came. It's very similar to the fall of Maligos, because Maligos was also, literally since the days of being a proto-drake, Maligos have been incredibly arrogant. And Maligos, after losing almost all of his flight to the betrayal of Deathwing, went f***ing crazy. And instead of reaching out to his brothers and sisters and asking them for help, he decided to just seclude himself more and sort of look inward more than actually trying to look for help to the, out to the outside. So both of them, like Ma Maligos and Nalfarian, had their downfall at the hands of arrogance. It's really, it really is as simple as that. But that hopefully answers the question.